Hello and welcome to our special edition of ArcSight short video series. My name is Emra Halpa and I'm a senior product manager with ArcSight Content and Connectors. Today we will be talking about the SolarWinds supply chain attack and what we are doing at ArcSight to defend organizations worldwide. Let's start. On December 2020, FireEye disclosed that they were breached by a highly skilled and sophisticated threat actor. There were two problems. Problem number one was FireEye's red team tools were stolen. This was a big problem on its own, however, it was just the tip of the iceberg. Problem number two is the bigger and more important part of the problem. The intelligent method used in the attack increased its blast radius significantly, making this attack one of the most notorious in the recent history. Let's get into the details. SolarWinds Orion is a network monitoring and management solution trusted and used by a very large number of companies worldwide, including US government agencies. Attackers injected a trojanized DLL into the auto-updating mechanism of this famous software. As a result, since March 2020, non-suspecting companies have been downloading this trojan into their networks, which enabled the attackers to get a foothold into the network. Then the bad guys used even more sophisticated techniques such as waiting for two weeks to evade sandbox and other detection methods and using uh, trusted certificates to sign their executables and as a result they were able to con continue their operations undetected until FireEye found about this in December. If an action is not taken by the users of this software this attack may cause more harm in the future. At ArcSight, we provide three different solutions to attack this problem. Solution number one is what I call Threat Intel Table Stakes. It's the default out-of-the-box content which enables that lights-on knowledge after the installation. You don't have to maintain the solution. It auto-updates itself. It enables the path to that self-defending enterprise. How do we do it? We do that by using a well-vetted public Threat Intel feed. In this case, I'm talking about the crowdsourced Circle MISP Threat Intel solution, which is maintained and kept up to date meticulously by a global team of cyber warriors. As it's a very responsive solution, we have chosen Circle MISP as our Threat Intel feed for out of the box deployments. This is especially important for those customers who may not have started their Threat Intel journey yet. This allows our customers to stay on top of known bad activity in real time. Yes, you can have hunting and search and other use cases, which is equally important. But if you don't get rid of the globally known bad activity in an automated way, regardless of the campaign, regardless of the threat actor, you are probably wasting your time. And that additional time that we give to our outside customers can be used in more hunting activity later. So get rid of the known bad and focus on the unknown later. With this solution, you're simply covered 724 automatically on day one of the activity. On day zero, the attack happened, December 13th. One day later, ArcSight is intelligent now enough to stop these attacks. We still recommend a second solution on top, which will be more descriptive alerts. It will tell things like, you know what, I just found a solar winds attack. I just found a suspicious communication to a SolarWinds bad domain. Well, for that, we have a package as well that is available on our marketplace. It's a specifically crafted package with filters, dashboards, rules, and other correlation logic so that you can enable your SOC to be more responsive to these attacks as well. Our third solution is based on our ArcSight community page. This page exists for our customers and partners and internal ArcSight engineers to upload their content. In this case, it was one of our senior architects, Pawan Raja, who uploaded a specific package based on FireEye's GitHub enabled content. He picked those 2000 plus attributes, including the sunburst activity, including the red team tool activity, and he made a package out of it, which is available for download from our community pages as well. So in the description of this video, you will find all those links to what I just described. So that ends our video today. On behalf of the entire ArcSight team, I wish you a safe and healthy holiday season.